70 WOCA. Ocala. All right, thank you for tuning in. It's seven minutes after 11 o'clock, and this is January, and early January at that, I guess. Well, one week into it. And you know what happens every year around this time is we have a lot of different publicists calling to ask us if we'll speak to their author about a book about losing weight. And uh, while it's a wonderful topic, there are just so many people offering that same topic. The um, challenge that we have here is picking out the ones that really seem like they have something to offer for our listeners. Our next guest has that thing. If you just heard the last news report that was just on ABC, uh, it was a story about how the FTC has ordered uh, the weight loss firm Sensa to uh-huh. return $26.5 million. Uh, Sensa is a, a product, I guess, they were claiming that if you sprinkled it on your food, it would help curb your diet or your, or your weight or whatever, your yes. appetite. And uh, the, the, I guess the federal regulators decided that wasn't true. So now they've got to return $26.5 million. Wow. Well, good. So, um, so let's talk to somebody who can maybe make some sense out of what you should be doing to lose weight. Uh, and she's backstage getting ready to do a live TV show somewhere. That's and so exciting. she's going to do a live radio show right now. <laughs> so she said there's some noise in the background. So that explains it, which is kind of cool. We get to hear the back, backstage noise of our TV show. Yeah. Dr. Natasha Turner is who I'm referring to. She is a leading a uh, naturopathic doctor, the founder of Clear Medicine. She's a best-selling author. Her book is called The Supercharged Hormone Diet, a 30-day accelerated plan to lose weight, restore metabolism, and feel younger again. And let me just say good morning, Dr. Natasha Turner. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Larry and Robin. How are you? Pretty good. Yeah, you had a great lead-in with that, that, that breaking story <laughs> about Sensa. I know. It's incredible. You know what? I'm really excited to start pr- promoting this book uh, because I think the year 2014 should be the year we all start focusing on what really works and what doesn't work and on doing things to lose weight and restore health that are long lasting, that don't promote more health problems in the future. And that's why I'm so excited about this book. It is a real wellness program with results that work. And, you know, my first bit of media that I did for it was with Dr. Oz back in November. He did a sneak peek of the book. And, um, you know, he's really a big fan of it. And it just hit the New York Times bestseller list on Sunday. Wow. So well, good excited. for you. Good for you. So yeah. what, what is uh, malfunctioning in our hormones to cause us to gain weight? You know, so many people have absolutely no idea that it is your hormones that are controlling every single aspect of your ability to lose weight, keep it off, your appetite, your cravings, even where you store your fat is dictated by your hormones. And we think that it's all about calories in minus calories out equals weight loss, and it's that old equation is antiquated. You have to add hormonal balance to the formula. And I know this because I got really sick. Uh, I gained over 20 pounds because of a hormonal imbalance that was making me gain weight regardless of my diet and exercise habits. I cut my calories more. I added more cardio to my workout. I gained another five pounds and ended up in the emergency ward. So that's when I started thinking all about hormones and, and recognizing that, geez, if I don't fix my hormone imbalance, I'll never get the body that I'm looking for. And in the supercharged hormone diet, I talk about eight different fat-packing hormonal imbalances that will prevent you from losing weight and keeping it off no matter how hard you try. Okay, so so a couple of quick questions that seem obvious, I guess. Hormones are different for men and women, so does that matter? And hormones seem to change as we age, so does that matter? (laughs) Yes, it absolutely does. You know, both men and women, we all have the same hormones, but what differs is the amount that we have of each. Um, And hormones specifically absolutely do change as we age. Uh, That's why it gets harder and harder to beat belly fat once you hit that old 40 mark. I'm struggling with that myself. (laughs) But, you know, the secret is to do the things you're already doing every day but do them in a way to optimize the hormones that burn fat uh, and then and to increase your metabolism. And uh, this book is really for men and for women at any age and stage of life. 
sometimes when we hear the word hormone, you think about menopause and women. Um, but this program is just a simple four-week pro- uh, system that I put together that helps restore the major hormones that pack on your belly fat, p- particularly insulin and stress hormones. These ones make us feel hungry all the time, make us have excessive food cravings, and will ha- make you have belly fat even if you're otherwise thin. So uh, it's a nice thing to do, too. It's a lot of times as we age, we do things to lose weight that cause more hormonal imbalance. And I've already shared my experience. I cut my yeah. calories too much, exercise too much, and it made my hormones worse. So, okay, okay. So that, uh, that, that maybe expl- answers the question I was going to have. Because I wanted to go back to something you said earlier and then make a comment and then have you come back at me with it. And maybe you already did that in advance. But you said that the, the calorie counting is antiquated, but yet... If anybody reduces their calories, they will lose weight. They, they will lose weight, but you increase your stress hormones. You, that's, um, and let me give you an example. It's, it's not about the total calories. Mm. Obviously, an excess, of, an excess of calories overall is not health promoting. But what's more important, and what I teach the readers, is that the source of your calories and the combination that you consume them and, and when you consume them is so much more important. And let me share an example. How many people listening have cereal for breakfast? Probably a lot. Okay? So right. cereal for breakfast, I found a study. Everyone in the study was obese. Everyone received cereal for breakfast. Half of the participants were given an additional two eggs to consume with the cereal. Guess what happened? The people who ate more calories because they were eating more egg, eating the two eggs, they lost sixty five percent more weight. Wow! And that's be- it's incredible. And I share this because I want people to get that whole you know I got to cut my calories, I got to skip breakfast. Um, I want you to realize that when you combine the right foods at the right times, which is my 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 rules for restoring hormonal balance. It maximizes the hormones that control your appetite and burn fat. So you have to sometimes eat more and, and eat more often to, to power up those hormones. Well, how does a person know how to start when they get your book? Because that would be pretty confusing for me. How do I know where I have to start? You know what, Robin? Most people love my book, and especially men, too, because... Uh, I don't restrict how much you eat, when you eat, or, or even uh, uh, your calorie count at all. The first thing you have to do when you start my program is ask yourself, am I in or out of balance? And these are the signs that you're out of balance. And being out of balance means your metabolism is not optimized. So do you have belly fat? Do you have thigh fat? Do you have back fat? Do you have cravings? Do you have difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep? Have you lost your sex drive? Do you have a poor memory? Um, do you have PMS? Any of these symptoms means your hormones are not balanced, okay? So now you're motivated to start to think about, I'm going to fix those imbalances, I'm going to restore my health, and in the the process, I'm going to lose weight and keep it off. So I want to shift the focus from weight loss into more to restoring total health. And my program then... Oh, sorry. Well, I, I, I was just, I was just acknowledging that we were still here, actually. But I, I, I wanted to, since we, we took a moment there, do the are hormones directly affected by what we eat? Absolutely. When you eat, how much you eat, how often you eat, all impacts your hormones. But you know, for the first two weeks of this plan, it is so easy because all I do is I have you take out any food that could disrupt your hormones. So um, maybe sugar, uh, caffeine, alcohol, uh, and then I take out any food that could be inflammatory or allergenic because any food that increases inflammation will prevent you from losing weight. So uh, harmful fats and other things. But here's the simple part is that you just, I give you a list. Eat these foods, don't eat these foods. Oh, and really? That for two- yeah, and don't worry about how much or when. And if you've never followed a nutrition plan before, it's a lovely way to start into it. But it's this what most importantly, um, and this, and I talked about this as well on Dr. Oz, is that when you take out those foods, you improve your digestive system health. Because if you're eating foods that are triggering gas or bloating, indigestion, that means your your body doesn't like those foods and it will slow weight loss. So it will improve your digestion, it'll reduce joint pain, stiffness, you'll feel more energy, you'll have better sleep. 
And then you can move on to the second phase of the diet, which involves eating the foods at the right times and the right combinations to boost your fat-burning hormones. Would the person need to use a diary? Uh, you know what? I include a diary in the book. Uh, I, want, I call it a wellness tracker because research shows if you write down what you're eating five to six days a week as compared to someone who only does it one to two days a week, you will lose um, at least 20% more fat. So it's really good to record your habits, and I give you a simple wellness tracker that's right inside the book. One of the things that you said that uh, hormonal balance would help with is... Um Appetite, so that you you it's almost it almost sounds like once you balance your hormones, you automatically won't overeat. Is that right, Larry? That's an amazing way to sum it up. You know what? People can't believe that their cravings, their obsession with food, goes away within just two to three days, and it's because your stress hormones and the hormone insulin. Those are the two most powerful appetite-stimulating hormones. And within three days, I tell you the foods to eat so that you can restore the balance of these hormones. And that old food obsession and, and all the cravings goes away. And, you know, I, I really want people to understand, if you ever feel hungry or if you ever have cravings, it means your diet is not hormonally balanced. The, the, uh, the temptations around us as we uh, go out for lunch... All the, all the golden arches and everything else that's out there. Um, do are, are we able to go to any of those places, or are they all off limits? <laughs> you know, uh, I recommend cheating. A cheating is definitely a part of the supercharged hormone diet because when you cheat, it raises your thyroid hormone and it boosts your metabolism. So, and it also makes you feel good. It makes you feel happy if you can have a cheat meal once a week. And uh, so, I encourage you to do that. But if your weight is up two to three days post the cheat meal, you have obviously overdone the cheat meal. Um, I can't. Okay. <laughs> that's a simple rule. <laughs> uh, the, we are talking to Dr. Natasha Turner, and she is a leading naturopathic doctor. Her book is called The Supercharged Hormone Diet. It is now on the New York Times bestselling list, which uh, is, is new. Is, is that as, as of today, I think, right? It is. You know, it released just a, a week ago, and it's already... I couldn't believe it when I found out it hit the New York Times wow. bestseller. And, you know, you know I, I just have been blown away. But, you know, I think the most exciting part of for me is, is that it is a wellness plan and it is a program that people can follow. And when you finish it, you end up on, a, on an individualized nutrition program for you. Because I help you identify food allergies and food sensitivities as the first part of my detox program. And then I, I allow you to move on to eat for hormonal balance while avoiding those foods that you figured out are a problem for you. Like, for instance, I tell you, you've got to have protein at every single meal. Well, most diet plans will just list your proteins and tell you to eat one of them at every meal. But what if you're allergic to dairy? Like, you shouldn't eat Greek yogurt as a good source of protein if you're allergic to, to dairy. To dairy, yeah. So yeah. I, you, you got to do those two steps. And when you do that you really end up on a perfect plan for you that is sustainable and that allows you to look and feel your best every day. So is cereal and okay? I, I mean, you started with cereal and eggs seems to be a good combination. And, and I guess part two to the question, does that include Cocoa Puffs? And, <laughs> or, or are we talking about <laughs> like only oatmeal with no yeah. sugar? That kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, no. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be nice if we could all eat Cocoa Puffs? But no, <laughs> There's, you, know, you cannot restore your hormone balance if you're eating sugar. So uh, I'm really not a fan for, of cereal because I find that most people who eat cereal for breakfast makes you have more cravings in the afternoon. So start your day with a high-protein breakfast, uh, eggs. I've got tons of smoothie recipes in the, in the book um, that are simple and easy to follow. You know, some, simply eating within an hour of rising and eating a high-protein breakfast, that alone will help set the stage for healthy hormonal balance to beat belly fat during the day. Um, so it's not, it's not, it's really not about so many of us at this time of year, you start to skip meals, you get on the treadmill and you run and run and run. And you, you know what? Right, Those, right, right. They're, they're myths. They make it worse. Do, do you, um, like or not like, or have an indifference about, uh, supplements? Um, I do recommend specific key supplements in the book um, and uh, because I know that there's so much strong research to prove that they work. Um, and there, I give recommendations that people could get at any health food store. 
And a uh, couple of examples. Number one, I don't know if you've ever heard of a probiotic. Yes, I a have. Probiotic. Yeah. Okay, so most people have no idea that when you take the probiotic, which is a supplement which contains the healthy bacteria that's in your belly, you guess you'd never know that that lowers insulin and helps your helps you burn more fat. So one of the pr- components of my program is you have to take the probiotic first thing in the morning. Um, the other supplement that I'm a huge fan of is omega-3 fish oils. Okay. Proven to lower your insulin levels, uh, control your cravings, and maintain muscle. We all know that muscle is your major metabolic tissue. Um, and then another example is zinc. Zinc is a $5 supplement. You can get it at any health food store. You know, the studies I looked at with obese children, they gave half the participants in the study zinc. That's it. Nothing else. Every single child who received the zinc supplement lost weight. Really? Zinc helps your... Yeah. And how easy is that? Zinc helps your all your hormones work better. So... Um, you just a sold a lot of zinc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I wish I had stock in zinc. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. Uh, d- so d- do do probiotics occur naturally, or do we have to get a supplement? And um, I think I've heard that they are in yogurt, but I, obviously, if you're allergic to dairy, then yogurt wouldn't be a good source. What? Mm-hmm. So, are probiotics As, naturally occurring? Well, they are, um, like in kefir or um, uh, uh, kombucha teas, those types of things. But I really think a supplement at the beginning is the best way to start because. That will give you about one to two, you know, between five to ten billion cells of bacteria. And uh, I give you specifics in the book, so don't worry about thinking you have to remember this. But okay, so you make it easy for us. Yes, stay it easy. I give you, lay out the exact plan, when to take your foods, what foods to eat, 40 different recipes, and a supplement plan you can stick on your fridge. Um, and, and the results are, well, there, are there to show itself. But certainly, I think a probiotic in a supplement form is the best way. Do you address the uh, social issues in the book for a person just to go out and have fun with their friends, go to dinner once a week, um, go play cards, things like that? <laughs> you know what? Here's my philosophy. Sometimes a hot dog with friends is better than beans and rice alone. So <laughs> I, want, I want you to cheat. I want you to be happy. I want you to not cut your, your calories too much. And, and uh, you absolutely you need to, this diet is sustainable, and I recommend cheating once a week. And um, I talk a lot about exercise, too, in the book. And I don't, I, all I want you to do is do walking and a bit of yoga for these four weeks. I don't want you to stress your body with too much exercise, too much intense cardio, because it's not all about that. And especially if you're over 40, doing those types of exercises will just raise the stress hormone to perpetuate more belly fat. So, you know, really? it's about, I, I think, you know, people say right now, this time of year, it's a one-two punch, your diet and your exercise. Yeah. I think it is. Your diet and your sleep. Well, that, let me just re- reiterate what I said in the beginning. This is why you're on today, is because we do have, as radio hosts, a lot of requests to interview different people with different diet books and diet this or that. We we never allow anybody with supplement and not supplements, but like a, like a powder or a lotion or anything like yeah. that. We always want inf- too much gimmick. We, yeah, and and I think information is uh, mm-hmm. is probably better in a talk show anyway. So uh, so we narrowed it down, and you were one of the uh, the ones we chose. And it sounds like we're not the only ones. I mean, it sounds like you've you've uh, been passing all the tests with the other talk show hosts as well. Where are you right now? <laughs> I'm sitting backstage at the Maryland Dennis Show in Toronto, and uh, you know what? I am so pumped that you guys picked to have me on. And although I wish I was in studio with you, because I think it'd probably be a lot warmer down there, but I've been doing radio. Um, all across the country, I did 15 interviews yesterday, and I've got another two full days tomorrow. And um, you know, this book has been endorsed by Doctor Doctor Oz. It's been endorsed by Suzanne Summers, and and uh, it's you know, it's I think it's it's simple, it's easy. My mother-in-law could read it; <laughs> she can read it. And <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know. That, that sounds like a loaded statement. You, you hope she doesn't hear that one. Yeah. <laughs> She's not listening in Florida right now. <laughs> I know you meant no harm by it, but I would reword that if I were you. No, uh, I love her, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, doctor, I went to yeah, your website. Let me let me tell the listeners your website because it's it's probably gives a lot of great information. I just went to it. It is drnatashaturner.com, and doctor is the abbreviation, drnatashaturner.com. Um, so can we get the book on the website? 
You can get on the website. You can also go to Amazon.com. You can uh, view the Dr. Oz clips that t- talk about the Supercharged program there if you want more information about how this, this plan works. And, um, yeah, anywhere books are sold. All right. Well, I can't wait for like a year from now or maybe even just six months from now when you start to get success stories from readers who have taken your program and applied it to themselves and turned their lives around. I mean, that's a wonderful thing that you're doing. You know, Larry, this book has been out for a year or so in Canada. It was a number one bestseller on the day of its release. Oh, good. And my the feedback that we have, I have a woman, I talk on the Dr. Oz show about a success story. She lost 88 pounds. So um, the feedback has been incredible. Wow, that is awesome! Uh, and I didn't realize yeah. it. I didn't realize it was out for a whole year already up in Canada. Uh, Doctor, yeah. thank you, thank you for what you're doing, and thank you for being on the air with us to talk about it. And um, and come back at any time. You're always welcome. Uh, uh, oh, I'd love to come back. You guys are fun. <laughs> and, ha- and if you're ever in Florida, come into the studio for the interview. Please, please, just have me down. I want to come. All right. Thank you so much, Doctor. I love Siesta Key. Okay. You <laughs> C- take care Siesta now. Siesta Key. <laughs> All right. We will, uh, <laughs> we'll take a little break, and we'll be right back. i got to push this button here. We'll be right back. At Palm Chevrolet, we're starting 2014 with a renewed commitment to you, our customers. Now, what does that mean? Well, for starters, it means breaking away from the pack. No more screaming and shouting about deals that seem too good to be true and this weekend-only events. Instead, when we have something to say, we're simply going to say it. Straightforward, open, like you would with your friends. It's the same way you're treated when you come to our dealership. When you come to Palm Chevrolet, you're not pounced upon by a salesperson. You're greeted like a guest at our home. And our deals, they're simple, old-fashioned horse trading, the way you do it with your neighbors. We put our prices right on the windshield of our cars. We use the Auto Trader trade-in marketplace to make sure you get a fair price for your trade. We even have trucks in our service loaner fleet. No games, no hassles. It's the way you've told us you like to do business. We call it the Palm Chevrolet way. 